what's up guys welcome back once again to another episode of max that we are maxing out our town hall 10 guys every 20,000 subs uh, get a hundred bucks from app nana if you guys want to know uh, how to get gems from them and whatnot uh, check down in the description you guys can figure out uh, that it's a website kind of like free my apps etc etc but that's how I Get these gems for every 20,000 episodes for Max That Town All 10. But you know what, guys? I've talked to a bunch of you, and you're always like, "Hey, Mo, we love watching. Uh, we love watching you spend money on this and upgrade it. It's really, really cool for us. But why don't you give back to us?" Um, I give back to you in the form of videos, obviously, by posting these every day. But I want you guys to get gems as well. So I'm going to be coming out with a new series. I'm going to post a video uh, on that as well. A new series. Uh, kind of called hide and seek uh, or hide and seek gems, gym hide and seek, something along those lines. Where I'm gonna put codes to iTunes cards in my videos, and you guys get to go look through them. And the first person that finds the code and enters it in their phone gets it. Uh, so it's gonna be a fun little thing. We'll probably do uh, I don't know, maybe four or five dollar cards uh, once a week or something like that. Maybe two five dollar cards in each video, and you guys get to find it and then comment in the description once you find it. So it'll be fun that way. You don't have to do anything special to win. All you have to do is have a good eye and watch the video, and it'll be like hidden somewhere in there. Uh, I'll definitely make it legible, but uh, that's something new that's going to be coming out that I'm super excited about. Again, I'll post a video on that solely. But today we are maxing out our town hall ten. Um, all of this gold that I have right now is strictly from me farming. Uh, I've been barching a whole bunch <clears throat> and been crushing it. We have 64,000 Dark Elixir right now, which is a lot. It's almost enough to upgrade our heroes, but we do have enough to max out one of our mortars right now just from me farming. So we're going to go ahead and max out that mortar. And I think that we might, um, how, how long is that? So that's 10 days. Ooh, all of our Teslas are maxed out now. Our air defenses could be upgraded to max as well, but those take 12 days. Um, wizards are already maxed. Infernos are maxed. We can upgrade this Tesla as well. So why don't we go ahead, go into the shop, and let's fill it up with some gold. Um, and let's go ahead and upgrade this Expo and get that thing all done and ready. We're going to finalize that. There we go with that. Um, I'm going to be just barching for a while, so I'm not going to need uh, my heroes, and I want to get them up. It's going to take seven days, so I'll be out of them for a week. How much is her? Hers is seven days as well. So why don't we go ahead to the shop, fill up our resources, and do a little bit of work on our um, on our heroes because they are lagging behind. So we're going to upgrade one of them right there, and let's upgrade the other one right here with that last 95,000. And we'll save that other 30,000 um, for doing BAM if I want to use minions or balloonian or anything like that. So our heroes are going up to... Uh, Queen is going up to level 19 and King is going up to level 17. I need to get them up to 20 very, very quickly uh, because, like I just said, they are lagging behind. Um, let's go ahead and fill up our gold storages as well once again. Now, our archer towers are 6,500 and our cannons are 6,400 and they take six days and the archer towers take seven days. So, here's the question. What do we want to do? I'm not going to finish the time on these. We're just going to upgrade them and let them go after it. Why don't we upgrade uh, the cannon? So we'll upgrade one cannon right here. We'll go ahead back to that shop and fill it up one more time right there. And let's upgrade a cannon up here as well. So we're going to upgrade this cannon. So we've got two cannons going to max which is good, and we can still fill up one more, and why don't we get one of these top archer towers, uh, and then we'll finally have some good point defenses that are upgraded, so we'll go ahead and, oh no, we don't have any builders done. What are what are all my builders working on? So we've got cannon, and then them, oh no, should we finish one of them? I guess we need to. Let's, uh, what's the lowest one? Five, yeah, so we'll we'll have to finish one of those. And that'll put us down to 197, and then we'll go ahead and upgrade this archer tower up here. And that is going to be all that we have. All of our builders are busy now, so we can't do anything else. My hair looks a mess right now. Um, so we can't do anything else with that, but we've got our heroes going up, which is awesome. I can't even remove these bushes. 
Uh, so we're going to get a whole bunch of stuff. We've got two uh, Halloween headstones down here, which is awesome. So excited to have them in the same corner. Uh, we've got how many Christmas trees do we have? We only have two Christmas trees on this main account, uh, which is kind of lame. I wish we had more. We've got four. We've got like four on our town, all eight. Um, but why don't we go ahead and barch? I'm going to break this shield and we're going to see if we can find ourselves a good barching base. However, I do not have my heroes. I should have attacked with them before I upgraded them. That was a dumb move. Um, I don't think I've been out. Uh, I don't think I've been without heroes for a while. So this is definitely going to be interesting. I am going to keep farming uh, Dark Elixir. Like that base would have been good to attack, but I didn't have that much Dark Elixir. Um, let's go ahead and attack this base right here. And looks like he has the Dark Elixir up in the top. And he's got a single target in front of us. So that shouldn't bother us too much. We'll go ahead and take out... Uh, let's take out this mortar right here and doesn't even look like he has his fourth mortar up yet um, <clears throat> so we'll save those other lightning spells uh, or we'll take out this one we'll take out that so we're gonna go ahead and just spread out our barbarians all the way around he does have clan castle troops so we're gonna take those out right there with that last lightning spell of ours and let's see if we can get in here and get a good amount of this loot. I really want to try and get in here into this Dark Elixir. We're going to drop off a couple wall breakers, see if they can get in there and do some work for me. Um, drop off some more archers up here. Come on, guys. Get in there. There they go. Drop off the rest of those wall breakers. That Expo and that Wizard Tower are doing work. But if we can just get in there to that Dark Elixir, then I will be happy. 864,000 isn't too bad. Uh, can we take any of these out? That archer tower was distracted, but not anymore. <laughs> no, go for the dark elixir. What are you doing? All right, so it looks like they decided not to go for the dark elixir because they're idiots. Uh, <laughs> Thirty-seven uh, percent, not too hot. Why don't we go ahead and um, ah, shoot? I don't know. I don't have any more of that stuff. Let's go ahead. We'll train up another barch. We'll just finish this up real quick and see if we can redeem ourselves. You know, a lot of people won't show their fails on YouTube unless it's like in a specific video or whatever, but we all fail. Um, barch is super cheap, so I normally don't mind too much how much loot I get just as long as I'm uh, being efficient in how often I attack because that's the most important thing when it comes to barge. How much do we have? Is that you are attacking uh, efficiently because if you have your barracks boosted, then you can very easily. Uh, what do we need to do it right there? If you have your barracks boosted, then you can very easily attack every eight minutes or so with Barch and do a lot of damage and get a good amount of resources. So if I find a base with about the same amount of loot, um, then that'll be 100,000 in like no time. This base doesn't look too bad. I don't have any of my spells up, um, but I'm going to keep searching and I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds once I find another base. Normally in these max that episodes, we don't raid. We just upgrade and upgrade. But I hope that you guys are looking forward to that new series uh, with giveaways. I think we'll call it like, I don't know, hide and seek gyms or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds once I find a base worthy of attacking. All right. So hold tight. All right, guys. So we're going to try this base out. He does have multi-target Inferno Towers, which does kind of suck. Um, but it looks like a lot of the loot is in these collectors, so I'm just going to try this out down here real quick and uh, see how much of it actually is in these collectors. It doesn't look like that much is coming out. Well, yeah, it's an okay amount. Um, so we'll deploy a little, a little more heavy down here. That mortar is going to uh, do a lot of damage to us. Um, but I also want to attack from up here at the top. So we're just going to rage in here with our archers and see how we can do. He's got clan castle troops, which is not a good thing. Um, we'll see if we can... What is this mortar doing right here? Get out of here, mortar. Take that mortar out before you die. All right, so that mortar's gone now. Uh, his clan castle troops are still up there doing work because he's got a witch with him. Um, let's see. Take this out. So it, it looks like a lot of it was in those mines and pumps down there at the bottom. Uh, thankfully, the witch is done now, but that wizard tower is going to do a lot of work to our archers. Uh, but hopefully, they will get in there. Once they get in range, I'll drop off these four archers and see if we can take out this wizard tower. We're not going to be getting any more loot from this, but I think that we got um, about 100,000. How much did 
they have to go. Uh, not 100,000, 50,000, so it was at 200 and something, but that puts us at about 100,000 for those last two raids. Uh, and <clears throat> if I was boosting my barracks, then I wouldn't have even needed to gym those up. So definitely when you guys are raiding and attacking and you have time to sit down and do it, make sure that you have everything boosted and you can train up. That's how I got all of that gold uh, for... That's how I got all of that gold for upgrading earlier. So you can see uh, I did some Lavuni and those are in another video. So here's some of the raids, 48, 115, 169, 113, 106, 49, 30, 50, all of those. And that was with it being boosted. And then 93 Elixir, 291, 125, 104, all just from Barge, which is super cheap, super effective. I'm going to go and train up even more of it. But that's going to be it for this Max Out episode, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. Um, I am going to be posting another video shortly explaining that new series for you guys about um, giveaways, hide-and-seek gems. Um, so, yeah, definitely watch that video, and we'll explain a little bit more in detail about that. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. It is you guys that have got me here, and it's you guys that are going to make me stay here. So you guys mean the world to me. As always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.